Hey everybody, Geraldine Rose. My Halloween order is here from Simon Says Stamp. Um, got it actually the evening before Tim Holtz did the Halloween release. So I didn't get the free shipping, but there was another coupon code that Amy had shared out through. Uh, anyways, it bounced through the US over to the uh, eastern side and then it came back up through Canada from the eastern side. So it finally got over here to the west coast. So let's get it open so we can get some Halloween cards done, okay? All right, so it's pretty amazing already that they got as much as they did into this little box. Um, Typical Simon says stamp, but no code on that one. That is okay. They've got a few other specials that are going on right now. Like I know today it was 30% off with the code SPARK. So we'll catch one of those the next time it's out. Um, of course, the dis embossing glaze is that. have all come out with. There was only certain colors that I wanted through on them. Uh, crackling Campfire and Saltwater Taffy, Spiced Marmalade, Abandoned Coral because I love those tones for autumn, and some of the other ones, Aged Mahogany, that's got to be Villainous Potion. Oh, it's so dark you can barely see it. Yes, it is Villainous Potion, and that one is Seedless Preserves. To bring my purples up, and to bring the greens up, we've got Mowed Lawn, Standard Classic Crushed Olive, another one, and of course Bundled Sage. And I got one of the uh, Wow Glow in the Dark embossing powders. So I want to see how that works in addition to the other thing that is in here uh, for glowing in the dark for Halloween stuff. So, which one to do next? Okay, um, <laughs> distress mica stains. Isn't that the way of it? I love it when they're actually turned towards the front and you can see what's in there, just from a marketing standpoint. But I suppose with the shipping and stuff from them bouncing here, that they will have gotten turned around. That's just me having my perfectionism rear its head. Uh, so I got both of the Halloween sets from this year. Uh, Bubbling Cauldron, Hocus Pocus, and a Crooked Broomstick. So they are, remember, shake like a bell, shake like a bell. Otherwise they can actually ooze out the front. And I can tell that the balls aren't freed up in the bottom yet. But when they do, um, it, you'll start hearing them rattle and you won't see the stuff on the, on the bottom. So it's kind of a, a bronzy brown and then a very similar to Villainous Potion and then another green for those guys. And in the second Halloween set from this year, or maybe this was a previous year, I had to catch up as well. I only had two of the sets. Uh, oh, yeah, these are the old ones. Uh, Flickering Candle, Empty Tomb, and a Jack-O-Lantern. So um, gray and orange and yellow. And with these guys, and the ones I already have. That's pretty impressive, Chair, for actually you being you and your carpal tunnel. Um, that should be a fairly complete set then of the mica stains. And I use those ones all the time. I actually super love the shimmer on them. Uh, just sparkly, shiny things. You know, we're crows. It's like magpies. Anything that's just lovely and shiny, we're all over it. So, in the package as well, actually maybe those were the ones that were the sets from previous years and these are the ones from this year. Because the Simon Says Stamp had a Halloween set on sale with the black opaque texture paste and this is the glow and dark grit paste. They will go with my ones from previous, 
Village. Crypt. No, and that's Icicle. Okay, so it's just that in addition. So we'll see how those guys play out on some Halloween cards. Just the lovely grunginess that we've got in it. And, okay, these are the ones from this year. So, another purple with Ominous Twilight. Another lovely dark bronzy green with Specimen. And, of course, they're not shaken up. This one, the Phantom Mist, actually looks like it's got a gray silver blue tone to it. So we'll get those out and start watching them to see how they come out actually on surfaces. And the other set from this year, uh, Mold Cider is the orange, Unraveled is kind of the bronzy cream and Fallen Acorn is going to be the brown from this year. So these ones really are kind of more of a fall set, but they will do for Halloween cards too. Ooh, that's a nice little collection that I have there. <laughs> Yay, pick a states. And then um, some stamps and uh, other things. Uh, more Pink Fresh Studios, Ombre uh, Glitter Drops. These ones are Glittering Mountains. Uh, they were still sold out of the purple and green ones, which would be really great for Halloween cards. But you know what? These ones are going to do. And the other thing I've discovered is actually if you take an alcohol marker, one of your Copics, and you do the lighter side with it, you can actually change the color set on that. And of course, as I've pointed out before, these are great for someone like me that's got gripping problems with the easy open top if you haven't got... Uh, the flip tops to put them in. Okay, on to the stamps. Uh, Riling Company. Super cute. Every time you get dressed, remember, if you die, that's your ghost outfit. Choose wisely. So, I just thought it was funny. And um, Pick a Fence. I've got a few Pick a Fences, actually. I really like their stuff. I've got a few other sets from them. They're different from what most people have out there. So, just some sentiments to go down. Uh, this is the Here for All the Booze, and then, um, because of course Jack from Nightmare Before Christmas, um, and on pins and needles, and we actually have a Sensi Warmer that's got him, um, sitting through too, and then this one was, uh, Raining Zombies, just for kind of like a background, and I thought they were cute, it's kind of like a cross between the Ooga Booga Man and like little dolls and stuff, but then it's got the bones on it too, and it's like something that your dog would play with, uh, or maybe like Wednesday in the Adams Family, right? So that would be really good to have, and Avery L, I have a thing for marshmallows, so this is their Halloween s'mores, so uh, with, um, of course, the graham crackers and the chocolate and the little marshmallow all dressed up in their Halloween gear. And I thought they would go well with uh, the Pink and Main uh, exclusive that I got uh, from Stamp Timber last year. And then the other Pink and Main where they've got the marshmallows. Um, it's just like, oh, kind of continuing that theme of having cards coat that have got marshmallows on them. So that's good. Now, how fun is that for a background stamp, hey? Can you imagine that? It's just super fun, super creepy. That's uh, the Simon Says stamp uh, one, and it's spooky ice. So they've still got that. You should catch it if you can. As I said, good background. Uh, the other stuff I've got isn't quite Halloween, but it was just things that I had seen um, and kind of had my eye on, and I thought they'd be good to have. Um, I don't have a big teacup or coffee cup. Uh, the other ones that I've been doing have been quite a bit smaller. So uh, I've got one whole section of my um, uh, stamp tubs dedicated to actually coffee in autumn and I thought that one go, would go well with it and that is the coffee friend one. I don't have the die for it. Uh, Daisy Heads, uh, just it's kind of another layered one. You could put any other stem on it and I've got some of the honeybee ones that would go well with that. Um, so just kind of adding another dimension to most of the daisies and sunflowers that are out there right now. And then windswept leaves, uh, because of the arch and the other smaller pieces, like you could put that with anything. So, and then this one, the embossing folder spun glass, which is just trippy. It really does look like um, it's bubbled up. And it's one of those backgrounds, because it's the same all the way across, you could put that with anything. 
So I am going to get to playing around with these guys. There is a color throwdown challenge this week in colors of orange, green, and brown. And I am thinking that I'm going to be able to utilize some of this stuff for that. In the meantime, you all be the change that you want to see out there in the world. Have fun crafting, and we'll catch you next time. Okay, bye everybody. Mm -hmm.